Hi everyone. Today I have William's pellet stove controller from his Breckwell pellet stove on my test bench. Uh, William sent this one to me because uh, part of the circuit board had burnt up. I'm not sure how this happened. I've seen that a couple times already, but certainly it's an old circuit board and it's seen its day. So I made some changes to it and I corrected everything and it's now functional. So I'm about to do final testing on it. As part of the final testing, I'll go ahead and uh, turn it on. And when I do that on my tester itself, I should see the combustion fan simulator and the convection fan simulator come on. Uh, this will come on because my tester bypasses the internal switch that's on people's furnaces. So there's no point in me doing that. So let me go ahead and do that. And you see those two lights come on. And I'll do a quick few tests here. One of them is if I press the manual feed, the auger motor should come on, which is indicated by the yellow uh, light. So there it is, on and off, on and off. So the auger is functioning in manual mode. And then I can also turn the fan onto maximum by going to high fan. And you see that the red indicator light goes on bright. So that's functioning. The other thing that happens right here is I can step through the ABCD and the light intensity gets brighter and brighter as I step through. So that's a little hard to do one-handed while I hold the camera, but Nonetheless, so I'm back on low now. So I'll go ahead and press the auger and that will get the automatic mode going and turn on this LED at the top here. Now, there's a 25 to 30 second delay here before anything happens. The next thing that I, next thing that I see will happen is behind uh, the controller on the circuit board, a little green LED comes on. And at the very same time, we should see the light that uh, simulates the auger come on. So when the green LED comes on, there it is, see that? Uh, the auger light came on. So that took about 25 seconds. So let's go through that one more, one or two more cycles so we can clearly see it. There they both are, green light and the light indicated by the yellow. So I'll go ahead and turn up the intensity to max. And what that's gonna do for us on the one-handed job, is it's gonna make the auger stay on a little, a little longer, which means that it's driving more pellets into the fire pit. So you see that, let's do that one more time. We'll leave it on a little longer. There it is, a longer duration for the pellet drive into the fire pit. I'm gonna turn it back down all the way to the bottom and we'll watch it one more time and we'll see that the light will stay on a shorter period of time. There. All right, so that's it. Everything is functional on William's uh, pellet stove controller. William, I want to thank you for sending this to me. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And uh, if you have problems with your Breckwell brand pellet stove controller, give me a shout. Look me up on eBay or message me through YouTube here. I'd be glad to talk to you about it. Over and out.